be that old. What technology? Yeah. So many gadgets to anthropology. Anthropology. University of Virginia. Yeah. Right here. Abhidara Ghore. Katanidra Jao Maya. Abhidara Ghore. Psychiatrist. Yeah. All Western adventure to keep people in darkness. And that is going on. Now it really is masked by the next war. Next hour will come very soon. Yeah. <clears throat> Your country, America, is very much eager to kill this communist. And the communists are also very eager. <clears throat> so very soon. There will be war. And perhaps India will be the greatest sufferer. Because America is aiming to start the water, uh, war from India. Because India and Russia, they are com- <coughs> no, side by side. Yeah. Mm. If the war is started <coughs> from India, India will become- yeah, I mean, I mean, the Russians are ready here already. I have heard mm. with soldiers and. Not soldiers. I want to say, huh? Missiles. Ah, yes. They are also vigilant. Will that help our preaching, Prabhupada? <laughs> preaching will be very nice after the war, when both of them, especially Russia, will be finished. Want to make India the battleground? <clears throat> also, Prabhupada, Trey Rishi said that the uh, Arabs mm. are, are preparing for the war. They're buying billions and billions of dollars worth of missiles and uh, jets and tanks mm. from America. Yeah, so uh, they're being prepared. War will soon start. The Arab men all go to America to be trained in the armed forces there. Mm-hmm. In all the in all the armed forces centers in America, they train the Arab nations to fight. Oh. They let the young men come into the USA to learn how to use the missiles and everything. Recent, recently, this Bhutto of Pakistan, he was very happy because they were talking about lifting a 10-year... Uh, uh, holding on arms from the United States, and now they say Pakistan will soon get arms from America. Yeah, they're, they're getting. They, they're already getting. <coughs> the Pakistan will start the war with India, and then everything will be. Again. They have started the war maybe eight times. Hmm? Now we can go. <clears throat> what will the devotees do while the war is going on? Chant <laughs> Hare. <laughs> you have got only business. <clears throat> will we 
stay in the city, sir? Well, we can stay anywhere. <clears throat> we have got our Mayapur, Vrindavan. But the danger is the government will say that all Americans go away. Oh. That is the danger. I'm thinking of that position. What shall I do at that time? Indian citizenship? Huh? Indian citizenship? If you take it, it's very nice. Then they, I'll ask you to go to work. <laughs> will this war spread to many different countries and continents? The actual war will be between America and Russia. What about uh, British devotees, British citizens? Mm -hmm. Would the British be asked to leave? British citizens? Commonwealth citizens? British sites are now finished. But they have no importance. <clears throat> you, you mean the British devotees came to India, would they be asked? No, to no, leave? I want to say, I'm speaking of politics. Oh. Devotees are the same. Oh, British. Uh, so you, you said the Americans might have to leave. What about the British? Oh. But they generally during what time? Uh, everyone. They does. ask all foreigners. Oh, <coughs> during the last war, the uh, Christian mission in Krishnagar, mm. they had many Italian priests also. Mm. But the government gave them permission to stay, although they, uh, India was at war against uh, with Italian. In the missionary consideration. They can do that. <coughs> what will be the position of the Chinese? The Russians and Americans? Well, I'm not a politician. <laughs> China does not war. They don't want war. They want to construct. They're not ready. Yeah. They're not very much interested in war. Sri <clears throat> Prabhupada, you said that this war will destroy the demonic civilization. Does that yeah. mean that it, it'll uh, destroy all the cities and all the industries? The war means destruction of all cities. It is natural. We have we got experience. <laughs> In Europe, so many times. Cities and industries. Huh? Cities and industries. Yeah, that is the main Nobody, target. Nobody's interested in a, in a farm. are automatically expert in politics, economics, uh, everything. Without separate endeavor, a pure uh, devotee is automatically expert in everything. Yeah. Politics, economics. Yeah. Sociology. Vigyate sarmavitam vigyatam bhavanti. If you know Krishna, then you understand everything. <coughs> that is Vedic India. Jasmin vigyate. If you simply understand Krishna, <coughs> And in the Bhagavad Gita, it is also said <coughs> that uh, there will be no more anything to understand. In the ninth chapter, what is that verse? Can anyone say? Abhushishyate. Gyatabham Abhushishyate. You cannot. Uh, the whole verse. That is the second line. First line. <coughs> Bhakshami <coughs> uh, <coughs> yes, that is the verse. Krishna consciousness is such a great science. So if, if one becomes expired, then he knows everything.
So, uh, Prabhupada, is there something we should do to prepare ourselves for this uh, disaster? Well, you should simply prepare for chanting Hare Krishna. That's all. That's all. Prabhupada, people sometimes argue that God placed us in this world. Hmm? People argue that God has placed us in this world and that He's left us in darkness, so therefore He's played a trick on us. What is our argument hmm? against this? You have come to this world of darkness, and Krishna is trying to raise you again to the light. That is the you have willingly come to this nonsense place. Krishna is so kind that he comes himself and tries to again get you out, deliver from this nonsense thing. This is real position. Mm. They say that uh, God has put us here, but uh, he's given us intelligence, so we're to figure it out ourselves. Huh? And God has put us here, ah. and He's given us intelligence, so we're to figure it out ourselves. So therefore you take intelligence from God, you rescue. Why do you keep yourself in darkness? We well, say that God has given us the intelligence to figure it out ourselves. That is own. intelligence. You surrender. You are surrendering to Maya, to your wife, to your dog, to your family, to your house, to your nation. Why not God? You rescue. You are surrendering to so many other things, why not to God? It's like you told that Russian professor that he is surrendering to Lenin, mm. and we are surrendering to Krishna. Yeah. That everyone has to surrender. Surrender, that is the only way. You cannot become independent. You have to surrender. Who is a man who has not surrendered? At least he finds out a dog and surrendered to him. In your country there are so many people living with the dog. No, surrender is the only business of him. Jivir Sarupa Nitta Krishna Dharma. So, Uchidananda cannot come. He's lecturing in the temple. Oh. Uh, someone asked a question the other day about the atom, which I couldn't give the answer to. His question is that if we say that within the atom, the living entity, the jiva, is present, and life symptoms means six symptoms of birth, growth. That's all right. Their life symptoms has not yet come, but there he is. His question was, uh, it was sort of a dual question, at what time, or what, uh, just like at the time of disintegration of this body, the living entity leaves this body and the body disintegrates. So does the atomic body also disintegrate when the living entity leaves it and moves to a higher body? Atomic body? Atomic body means material body. Unless you are free from this material body, the atomic body will go on with it. This that means unless you are mukta, mm. the atomic body is gone. Mind, intelligence, ego, they are also atomic. Mm. <coughs> Finite atomic world. But within each atom, the living entity is present? Yes. God is present, therefore, living entity is present.
So the living entity is present within the atom, just as I am present within this body. When I leave this body, my body breaks apart. Yes, you leave this body and turn another body. Right. By nature's law. And when I leave this body, the body breaks apart. Huh? When I leave this body, mm -hmm. the body... The body is already atomic combination. Yes. So, it remains atomic combination. Oh. You leave the body. Yes. It remains... You, you leave the house. That does not mean the house is finished. Right. I He's asking that if the soul leaves the atomic particle, then does the particle break apart, isn't it? No, no. You have, you have not left atomic particle. No, but you, you're. I think you were saying that w within the atom, there's also a living entity. So when that living entity leaves the atomic particle, does the particle break apart, or doesn't? I mean, what yes, to. Try to understand. From the Shastra you understand. Mm. The Khandantarasam. God <coughs> is within the atom. Yes. And when the God is there, living entity is also there. This is this much you try to understand. Mm. <coughs> because God and living entity, they remain together. As two friends, God is trying to save this fallen friend. That is the information from Upanishad. So, when God is there, the living entity is also there. So, Paramatma and Jivatma are always together. Yes. <coughs> Can we say that the living entity is present within the atom by consciousness? Hmm? No. Consciousness will gradually develop according to the bodily situation. <coughs> How does the jiva get out of the atom and take the gross body? Hmm? How will that jiva inside? Body is combination of atom. How he gets out of the atom? Body is nothing but combination of many atoms. Everything material is combination of many atoms. The jivas inside the atom are they like impersonalists who are in the Brahman? That you consider. He has not developed his consciousness. Practically, it is like dead. war, large-scale war, I think that our <coughs> farming project, hmm? I think that the various farm projects that we have would be very good, because as you said, the cities would be bombed, hmm? the farms would not be disturbed. Yeah, the farm project, uh, even some hundreds of years, it was so nice, even there was war, they would not attack the farmers. Rather, they would not, where the other party has gone. So they would say, we have seen some soldiers going this way. <laughs> they are not affected. That was the principle. The farmers were not attacked. Just like at the present moment, the law is the civilians are not attacked. The military target is attacked. That is the law. But they do all nonsense. Even at the present moment, civilians are not attacked. Just like Kurukhetra battle, it was taken far away from the civilian inhabitation. Some field. Yeah. 
That is civilization. <laughs> Why this? Innocent civilians should be killed. Well, let us fight military to military. That's all. That is honest fighting. We have to settle some things by fighting. So fighting may be, I mean, limited within the fighters, not with the civilians. In modern warfare, yes, but they rest. They. They are so rascals, they throw bomb anywhere. Yeah. Mm. Especially atom bombs. <clears throat> but one thing is that because civilians are also responsible for declaring war, because the parliament is the representation of the people. Of the people. Yeah. Karma. Therefore, now the war is between people to people, nation to nation. They support with men and money. So therefore they are also killed by nature's law. Adi Lila, you wrote that the uh, communist movement mm. is um, greater than the capitalist movement because there are more sudras mm. than uh, vaishas. So that in a war mm. between communism and capitalism, the communists would win. Naturally, they are in greater number. Modern wars are fought with missiles and bombs more more than armies. Yeah, formally also there were Brahmastra. Fire. Fire on. Brahmastra. Problems that we are facing, they were also in the past under different names, different forms. I mean, this is wind that will not stop our preaching. They do not like to hear of God. You wrote that if the communists are victorious, they would destroy whatever is left of the culture. Yes. Victory for the communist means the whole human culture is lost. Uh, they will also attack the Krishna consciousness. Mm. Yes, they have already begun. They are not passing our temple in Bombay. After the war, the preaching will be still good. That means the communists will not be victorious. Yeah. The Americans will win. Honest people will take to religious way of life. The communists becoming victorious means uh, they are also winning.
Please have simply person sitting on that big sea. Oh. Much danger, you all come and sit down here, yeah, turn to Krishna. That's all. Yeah. Thank you, sir. Then men will be eager to come and join our India project. Yeah. We can go to Africa also. Oh, yeah, anywhere we can go. <laughs> so many places, yes. Hong Kong also. Hong Kong? <laughs> <laughs> It means then some devotees has, has to stay in Europe or in, in America. Yes, everywhere you stay. We have got place like this. Our farms are very nice because economically, when everything is in chaos, we can still provide food for our men. Yes. And milk and butter. Milk and butter. In America, no. <laughs> that if there is a war between Russia and America, mm. it would be a nuclear war, and they would pollute the whole atmosphere with radioactive particles, which would kill everyone. It is already polluted. They say that this radioactive fallout... The whole material world is polluted. We live here. Hare Krishna. A little, I said, 20 years before dying. After all, you have to die. Twenty years after or twenty years before. So it is already polluted. <laughs> that is humbugism. They will die at the end. Yes. But still they are trying to leave. Like they are creating their own... This is the difference part. between man of knowledge and without knowledge. A man of knowledge will think, after I have to die, so what is the difficulty? Dying a few days more before. <laughs> that is knowledge. And those who are not in knowledge, they are afraid of death. Yes. Best business is, before the death comes, let us finish our Krishna consciousness perfectly. That is one. Death will come. We cannot have one. They say that this radioactive fallout mm. will pollute the air so that no crops can be grown. Mm. That's all right. You shall die without food. After all the death, then Bengal is a Moradwara garden. The most misfortunate thing is death. And that will come. <laughs> that was the best. Intelligence is how to avoid death. Become immortal. Yeah, that is real intelligence. Not to be bothered by these trifle temporary things that I am dying say, 20 years before. If the situation was better, I would have lived more 20 years ago. What is this? God. Yes, we go back to God.